previously on Heiner Builds Your Ride Special. So we're gonna rip all the door trims off, all those, uh, the drawer system, the page, all the seats. The car has had a good clean. Boys in the workshop have been busy because as we do, we just took everything out except for the dash. In the last episodes, we have stripped out the whole cruiser, we've cleaned it, and we've started our scan process of the car. This is quite exciting because now the real fun starts with this build. Now we're putting the seats back in so we can actually drive this thing to swap suspension wheels and tires to get the suspension upgrade done. It's always tricky to time all these things in a big project like this because you can't always make it line up perfectly. But we're trying and it will be a hell of a drive in this thing. <laughs> God, it will be so loud to drive. It will be so loud. <laughs> However, before driving off to SWAT, we are taking the time that we've still got available and we are working on the interior scan. Johnny, our tech wizard, was at the helm for most of it. We were scanning for precision and get as much data as possible to perfect our 3D model of the interior of the vehicle. Very quiet car, it's good. Feels a bit like a two-ton go-kart with the V8 turbo diesel engine. Good morning! We are on our way to my favorite suspension place, SWAT. Cool name by the way, suspension wheels and tires. So what they're gonna do is, they're gonna put uh, new shock absorbers in. We already got heavy duty springs, so if they're good, we just leave them in. I'll, I'll get the guys to have a look at them. And then they're also gonna be servicing all the suspension components, every worn bush, Make sure we got greasable pins everywhere. Make sure they're greased as well. And uh, replace the steering track link, the front bit of uh, the steering, the rod that has to cope with all the force of the steering. And uh, we're gonna replace that for heavy duty version. So we're, we're set for the future because they seem to break and bend relatively easy on the 70 series. We don't want that, so we'll replace it for something better straight away. And then we put the same shock absorbers in that I've got in my Hilux, the Superior Engineering Remote Rest 2.5s. They're fully serviceable, so if in the future they need to be replaced, what we can do is take them apart, service them, new valves, new seals, boom, put them back in. And I'm quite happy with them in my Hilux. And the guys from SWAT recommended doing the same thing here so we can control all the weight of the vehicle in the future, especially with all the weight that's gonna go on the roof. Should make for a nice ride. We're here to give the 76 series a serious suspension overhaul. Here we are at SWAT. Yeah. Time to get the suspension done. <laughs> oh yeah, same. Cold. That's not what I signed up for when I came to Australia. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh. That's the one. Sweet. Now that we arrive at SWAT, I'll have a chat to one of the owners, Luke. He's my main man of contact here and we're gonna go in detail through the job to make sure that we're both on the same page. Cool, so what do you reckon you guys gonna do? The drag link in the front? Because that you know, gives us a list of what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We're going to do some 2.5 superior shocks. Yeah. We're going to do, obviously, probably new bushes through it. Yeah, if you find any bushes yeah. that are worn, yeah. just replace. Um, a superior heavy duty drag link. Yeah. And then, yeah, whatever else we can find that needs doing. That's cool. If you find that the steering dampener is shot and you yeah. set it's a bit off, yeah. you just yeah. put a new yeah. one in there as well to line that up. Yeah. Awesome. Good day. And if there's anything else that sticks out and you go like, that could be better or should be better. Just yeah, let me know. Trust you with that. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Cool. Cool. All right. Easy. 
Thank you. Yeah, it's a bit tricky with the doors. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you your phone? Yeah, I grabbed my yeah. phone and everything. Thanks, mate. Cool. It's always great to connect with fellow off-road enthusiasts, especially when they're as skilled as the guys from SWAT. So the guys at SWAT are now getting everything done within the day and we'll be back later on to pick up the car. And then the chapter suspension should be ticked off and we can move on to the next thing. In the meantime, back in the bat cave, Johnny is working on the 3D model and boy has it taken a toll on the computer. He is such a detailed person, but the computer is not coping with his perfection at this moment, I think. Of the car, not the ball. Well, I only need the, the back end of it. So oh, I don't need the whole car. I, oh, I, the, I just need this bit to build where I need to build. It's just I have too much data for it to, for the computer to probably want to run it. Mm -hmm. okay. It's got too much. Um, it's just not liking the sheer amount of data points from the scan. And our computers are handling it. So I have to lose some weight on the drawing. Fast forward to the next day when we pick up the vehicle from SWAT, the ride is so much better. It's finally what I thought it would be. A lot more controlled, but smooth at the same time. Really happy with the result. But then, in between rides, we find out what it's like to ride inside a tin can in a hailstorm and it's like a symphony of noise especially when the hail kicks in as well <laughs> quite uncomfortable enjoy this is actually hail in a car that doesn't have sound insulation this is why you get sound insulation jeez that's loud I think the world's coming to an end. It must be closed now. This is when it hits me. We need some serious sound deadening throughout the entire car to make this bearable in the future. Back in the workshop, we now finally start the sound insulation. So the guys have stripped the car empty over the last few weeks. We've been driving around with it empty as well. It's terrible, it's so loud. But yesterday, finally, all the car builder's sound deadener has arrived. We ordered a full 76 series sound deadening kit. And we're going to do the whole works, including the roof, the doors, the side bits. Kind of take these terrible speakers out the back. And then we already run a few cables to the doors. We run new cables for the aftermarket central locking, get that all up to scratch, and then we put it back together. And then it should be a lot quieter than it was before. That's the idea. Yeah, you just go and explain to us what you're doing. Uh, I'm putting the black rubber sound ending on the ceiling and on the bottom of the floor and also in all the door cards. And uh, then we're gonna go back over with the foam rolls and the rubber backed foam as well to go and block all the sound that's going to come through in vibrations. Ah, yeah. That does look a lot like that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yep, I'd say that's where that goes. We're taking on the challenge of sound deadening layer by layer. We're applying the materials to tame the noise and we're actually getting all the layers. This is as much sound deadening as there is possible. It's a meticulous process, but we know it's worth it for a quieter and more comfortable ride. I get back up into the office to see John and have a look at the 3D design. It's been planned by Verena and me before. I've told John the ideas. Now it's up to us to sort out the details. We get Luke involved as well because he's always well of knowledge when it comes to integrating all the electrics and where they need to be. Cool. So the idea is, as you said, we're going to Instead of having that step in there, 
we make the box longer up and around and build a surround to have the Egan mounted on the back. Yeah, he's only looking about the, the Egan itself. Yeah, at the bottom, the real air hub sitting on top of it. So this is how we design the interior. Since John is here now, we pre-design everything in CAD. We base this on a floor plan of the 76 series. In the future, we'll also be scanning the whole interior and then we can just design a custom interior or one interior that we will then replicate. That is the idea for the 76. So it's good to use 21st century technology. Let's have a look at the work that the guys from SWAT have done. So we have got in the front and in the back new shock absorbers. They are the Superior Engineering Remote Res 2.5 shock absorbers which are their top of the range shock absorbers. I've got them in the Hilux as well and they are absolutely brilliant. These shock absorbers are fully adjustable so you can soften or stiffen the compression and also the rebound individually, which makes these shock absorbers very, very configurable to this car. The guys from SWAT have recommended these shock absorbers because of the heavy load that this car is gonna be carrying on its roof. They have also installed a new steering dampener and a new heavy duty drag link, which is a bit of a weak spot, the standard one in the 70 series. And they have put new bushes into the suspension to firm everything back up. And all of these works have improved the ride of our 76 significantly. So let's move on to other tasks from here. Now we're applying the second layer of salt insulation on top of the heavy body hum sound insulation. This helps for thermal and for direct sound insulation. What's this? This deflects the sound from leaving the car. So it's like a barrier. So when you talk, it bounces back instead of going in and disappearing. And then we do the exact same thing for the floors. First, the heavy stuff to get rid of the body noise itself. And then later on, the pre-cut floor material that sits on top of that sound insulation layer. So as you can see, this is the second layer of sound insulation already installed in the vehicle. It comes pre-cut, which is extremely handy. And this is also the time where we start the wiring because later on a lot of the cavities won't be accessible anymore. We have finished the sound deadening. It takes roughly a day. There's a fair bit of work to it even once the car is empty, but you see all the doors, all the insides of the panels everything has got this heavy tar sound deadening in it that's got a sticky back on it the idea of that is to make the panel heavier so it doesn't resonate as much and then on the roof it gets that stage one and then it gets a foam on it as well and if you want to hear this there's almost no resonance to that anymore and it doesn't even have the the hood lining in there yet so it will quieten the car right down and then on the floor all the way throughout the kit that we bought for this has been pre-cut to fit this vehicle so you see the whole floor throughout has got this heavy tar like sound deadening in it to weigh the panels a bit more so they don't sound hollow 
and then this is another layer of soundproofing and it's also an insulation barrier for heat same as this on the top here so Jono has done a great job together with Luke to get all of this in that means sound deadening is done and the majority of the panels can go back in but since we already know what we want to do we've already started to run cables so we make sure that we get cables into all the doors now so that we don't have to run anything later on so you can see we are running multi-core cable into the doors here already to be prepared because we want to add a national lunar light later uh, we've got central locking in these doors but we rewire we don't want to leave the wiring in that was in there before everything aftermarket gets taken out so that we actually know what's happening and then we run all the cables back to the front there underneath the steering wheel we've got the remote control uh, for the central locking and then we're running the speaker cables as well we're not going to put speakers in the rear doors yet but just in case we decide to have some speakers in the future we've already got cables in there and we just need to connect it behind the stereo so things are happening bit by bit so we've already got a wiring plan for the whole vehicle and we run multi-core cables to all the locations where we know we're going to have cable runs later on i think the windscreen goes here windscreen yeah mm. what are you now doing jonah oh i'm just taking this off i'm running the cables for the mm. uh, doors the windscreen had some damage to it as well so we got somebody in to change the windscreen for us and we've also found a fair bit of rust along the seal so that's being fixed up at the same time as Jono is running some cables uh, working on as much as we can all at once. After we've done with the wiring job, we put the vehicle back together. But before we do all of that, we add some speakers because we're upgrading the sound system as well. Today we've got the subwoofers, the speakers and the head unit. They're all going to be going into the uh, 76 series. We've got the speakers which are going into the cruiser consoles door panels. Uh, they'll just be cut in and off you go. We get some door pockets installed to the front door trims so we can put six and a half inch speakers in these door pockets are from cruiser consoles i quite like them they include the gxl map holders on the side and then we can add some nice alpine speakers in there i'm a big fan of the alpine stereo stuff very nice sound head units are quite good too so that is the whole package that we install into the car and then of course the alpine head unit that's gonna go into the dash but that will be a later thing as well so six and a half inch speakers in the doors and a subwoofer under the seat which you will be able to see later that's it you will see the whole interior comes back together everything's in there
we've reached the end of today's episode. We've taken you through scanning, upgrades, and sound deadening endeavors. It's been a journey of challenges, creativity, and camaraderie. Stay tuned for the next chapter as we bring you more forward drive adventures, one upgrade at a time. Thanks for joining us on this ride. Coming up in our next episode. Do some on the suspension as well. Ooh, look at that. The interior is assembled and in. This is pre-powder coating. And because this is a prototype, we've just test fitted it to see if the computer design actually matched the design in the car and if it fits, but it seems like it does. So we'll have our... You listen into that, hey? Yeah. <laughs>